Hello, NLCS. You might be thinking, Mr. Garrett and I are launching our own cleaning business. But you'd be wrong. Mr. Garrett, what are we doing today? Well, I haven't come round for a deep clean sanitation pro program, but what I have come for is some target practice. Oh, so, right. What we're going to do is we're going to use some household items so that we can launch the ball at and see how good your target throwing is. So here, we've got the most difficult target to hit, the broomstick. We've got everything in between for the easiest target to hit, a mop, a mop bucket. Let's see how we do it. So, to set up your target practice activity, um, you might want to use a garden table or something to put the targets on top of. Don't worry if you haven't got anything like this, you can just place the targets on the floor, that'll work just fine. But this makes it a little bit more exciting when you hit the target. So, Get your household items, place just one for now in the middle. I'm going for the kitchen roll for a medium level of difficulty. Let's see if Mr. Garrett can hit the target. Okay, so to set this up, we're gonna go five paces in Mr. Mosley's little rabbit hutch. <laughs> and then from there, I'm just gonna demonstrate how we should be throwing this ball. And then uh, we'll demonstrate the target to throw. So there's one, two, three, four. That's about five paces, okay? Obviously, if you've got a bigger garden, then I make it harder, you can go further backwards. Um, for, the, for the actual technique, we're looking for that javelin grip again that we've been taught. So it's the bunny ears, over the ball, thumb be, uh, behind. Uh, we're looking for a side-on stance, knee slightly bent. And what we're going to do is ex fully extend the shoulder, and then we're going to flex the elbow and really point at the target where you want that ball to finish. Okay, um, I'm going to use five attempts and see how many, go, uh, how many hits or successful shots you get uh, for each throw. So best out of five, are you ready? No pressure. Oh. One miss. One. Oh, good. Oh, come on, three. Three, reset the target. Reset. That's one out of three. Four. Go on, That's Mr. One. Garrett. Come on. Here we go. Five. One out of five. It's abysmal. So, one out of five, uh, pretty poor by my standards. Uh, what, what can we do to make that better? You've got it. I've got a couple of ideas. I can either reduce the power, um, and that might give me a little bit more accuracy. I can make the target bigger, or I can even try and bring the target closer um, from where I'm standing. We'll give it another go. I'm just going to reduce the, the uh, power. There you go. One. Oh, a smack on. Two. One out of two. One out of two. Fifty percent. I'm taking that. Oh. Crushed it. Yes. Already. Two out of four. Two out of four. I need this one. One more. I hope Mrs. Mosley doesn't mind about this kitchen roll. Oh, oh best shot. Well done, Mr. Garrett, well done. So now I'm going to invite Mr. Mosley to come and join me. I'm still going to use the kitchen roll um, as the target, but this time, as the progression from what I've just done, we're going to go weak hand only. Best out of five. Let's see how we go. Best of luck. So I'm still going to try and use the correct grip. Go try and transfer the skill from the right hand to the left hand. It won't look as aesthetically pleasing, but I'm going to try my best and hopefully not throw it into the next door's garden. Oh. Close by about a metre. <laughs> this is very challenging. Oh. Oh. That's three. That's three. I'm going to get one. Come on. Come on. Oh. Nearly a little bit more. Oh. Oh, that, that last one was rubbish. Well, yeah, left hand, um, although you probably won't be successful, um, it is important to try and practice with both. If you're a cricket player or a rounders player and you can throw with left and right, that could be a real, really good key skill in a game situation. Give it a go. 
Right, we're going to progress the activity even further now. So I'm going to change the ball. So I'm going for a slightly heavier uh, cricket ball. I'm going to change the target to a tin of polish. Uh, I'm going to set the target up. Mr. Garrett's going to explain the skill. So I'm going to feed the ball to Mr. Mosley. I'm going to roll it in his direction. I want him to run onto the ball. And what I want him to do is as the ball is rolling towards him, with your, with your right hand and right leg, I want you to gather the ball, okay? That puts you into, as you step to throw the ball, that puts you into this dynamic position, ready to throw the ball at speed. So, uh, slow motion, Mr. Mosley. So as I rock, feed the ball, it's gonna come on, same foot, same hand, and it's gonna throw the ball at the target. Okay, try that once more, sir, then you do it very well. So I'm gonna start in the corner, So again, my garden's quite small, but um, the idea is to start further back, approach the ball, don't wait for the ball to come to you, meet the ball, pick it up as Mr. Mr. Garrett instructed, and then fire it at the target using the same skill of, as, as before. Um, if you haven't got anyone to feed the ball to you, you can just throw the ball off the wall, like so, so my target's down there, I'm just gonna throw it into the wall, Meet and then do it. So, okay, so you can do this on your own as well. But well, I've got a friend who can help me. Okay, five attempts. We've got the polish can set up. Mr. Garrett ready to feed off camera. I'm going to stand in the corner as far away as I can so I can come and meet the ball. See how we do. Number one. Oh, bullseye! One for one. Ooh! Ooh. Sorry. That's it. Bit of a faster feed. Bit of faster feed, yeah. Oh. That was hit the wall first, so it technically didn't count. Number three. Oh, hit the wall again first. Close. Two more. Oh. Yes. One more. For the ashes. For the ashes. Ah, oh. bad technique. Ready, go. Pick it up, pick it up. Bro, oh, oh. Bro, bro, bro. Hey. Hey.